it been like you for you uh, trying to get back healthy? She's been fun, man. It's been a grind, you know, different outlook, you know, coming back from injury rather than, you know, being healthy. So just constantly just being a, a recovery specialist as far as just make sure I'm doing everything possible as far as hydration and, you know, what I'm doing off the field, you know, stretching, uh, you know, cold tub and hot tub and just things like that for my recovery. Just being just keeping that at a premium. So it's been, it's been really fun. You feel like you're back to 100%? Yeah, for sure. For sure, back at 100%. How long have you been back at 100%? Shoot, man, spring, I feel like I was pretty much 100% in the spring. Like I said, I played in the spring game. So I started halfway, started getting, you know, full full reps. And I played in the spring game. And then since then, just it's been, I feel like I've been full go since then. So Dan, Dan said he never has to worry about you worrying about what you have to do on a play or what position you need to be in on a play. Uh -huh. And praise just your, your football IQ. How do you yeah. feel like you've been able to pick things up with this new defense so quickly? So, you know, being here for a while, you learn how to uh, study plays, how to – take about how to break down the playbook and really understand the defense. So I just, you know, take a take, take a lot of time and learning the whole field and how the scheme works. And that really helps me just learning the free boundary nickel positions and understand how they operate within the whole and amongst the different defenses. So once I just know defense and just understanding what we're trying to do, what we're, look we're trying to get to, and then everything like that, it just I don't know, it comes really easy for me at this point. It's just like reading a book for your playbook or are you watching film? Or I'm doing everything. I'm re reading the playbook, watching film, watching tape. I'm not just watching my reps, I'm watching everyone else's reps and really just understanding just, uh, oh, he made a mistake there. Okay, let me make sure I don't make that mistake. What? Seeing what the office is getting into, what we're trying to do, things like that. So, How does Coach Palace help you with that? Shoot, he's really good. Anytime I have a question, he has an answer. You know what I'm saying? So that's really good, and it just really helps me. And then, like I said, I have meetings with him and things like that. So everything's really good. The way he explains things is really it makes it down really simple for you. So I have a good understanding of what he's trying to explain. And like I said, I have a lot of young guys in the room too. So not only am I get learning things from when he's explaining it to other people, so I'm hearing it like two, three times rather than just myself acting them. So he's really good at the, the, the coaching. Is that something that's always kind of come naturally to you, just that ability to kind of break down a playbook, or was that a skill that you had to develop once I, you got here? I would say I definitely have to develop it, you know, come in, understand how to really uh, take a play, really break it down, understand what's going on, what we're trying to get to, and just, you know, after having, I think I had about four or five different playbooks since I've been here, so it's just like just really understanding defense, and I would say more so over time. I wouldn't say just right away, just over time, I have to really pick it up. When it comes to this point in camp, I mean, how do you balance going hard, and, and wanting to improve, but also, you know, battling through fatigue potentially as it gets later and later into the fall. So just effort, just always get effort 24-7. And then just, you have to be a smart football player. Like you said, like when you're coming up, thudding guys up, you gotta make sure you try to stay up and just taking proper angles. And then when you're taking proper angles, you don't end up in a bad situation where you have to contort your body in different ways. So I just feel like just constantly having good effort run to the ball, you keep you in shape. And just, like I said before, just proper angles. Pieces in that secondary coming off of last year. What sort of the chemistry right now in that secondary with you guys? So in the secondary right now, we have a lot of old guys. I would say a lot of mature players that really understand uh, defense, and we're real good at communicating. Whether we're disguising, whether we're lining up, showing this look, that look. It, at times, you know, offense comes out of different formations. Oh, we're not in the right spot, but we know how to play the defense. So, oh, you can stay there and play that, and I play this. So it's I don't know. Like I said, it's really easy when we got a lot of mature players. Have you been repping at multiple spots? I have. I've been, I've been playing at free, been playing at boundary a couple of times. I go to the start position. So, like I said, I, I have a good football IQ. I'm very understanding of what's going on, what we're trying to get to. So, coach is able to put, move me around in different positions. Is there a spot you've been playing the most? Uh, I've been playing mostly at free. Playing a lot of free, but I go back and forth free and boundary. So, You mentioned the experience in this room and, and, and the younger guys. Just what have you seen from them and how does how do, you, how do you think the experience has really helped them learn? Either to learn a playbook or just however else? So that pretty much goes back to the maturity in the room. We have a lot of mature players, you know, in the corner we got Gonzo, old guy, mature. Then we got, you know, like in my, our safety room, we got me, Bennett, Jamal. So the young guys that ask us a lot of questions, not only are they talking to the coaches, they ask also asking us questions. And that helps us as well with learning to play because they're constantly having to re-explain it. So if you can explain to somebody else, you definitely could play it. So I really feel like that just helped with the young guys. Like I said, they're really just hungry, very hungry to learn to play. It's like even Scoop, uh, Kimari, you know, a lot of those young guys really trying to pick up the playbook. What have you seen from this receiver room this offseason with the new coaching staff? What have they really added to their game? I mean, you're out there covering them every day. Explosive. They're really explosive. I really feel like we got a lot of a lot of great players. I'm saying pointed attack. They're really good with their hands. They're really good at finding space, finding the holes in the defense, getting open, running past guys. I really think got a very dynamic receiver room, I would say. Are there any guys out there that have really impressed you a lot from the steps that they made from last year to this year? Chris Hudson, for sure. I feel like he's very re maturing as a player. Dante Thornton, I feel like he's really maturing as a player. Just those guys that have been here and then just carrying over. Uh, Troy Franklin as well. You know, like I say, he's, he's playing like a, like 
a vet, I would say. Like, like he's been here before, and that's, that's big for a young guy. So. Being called to this practice, maybe the best of fall camp. Um, just from your perspective, why did things go so well for you guys? I, mean, I think I feel like it was just a lot of competition. Defense winning sessions, offense winning sessions, different periods. I just feel like it was just constant competition. And I just that really helps the team. If you got, got guys that are able to know, oh, I got beat this play. Okay, we have a big model. So what? Now what? So now we're going to do boom. I'm going to go get an interception. I'm going to get a pass breakup. So I really feel like it was a lot of competition. Can you feel that during practice? Like this is one of our better ones. Can you, can you get that vibe during practice? No, for sure. For sure. You definitely feel the vibe. You know, guys have a, that sense of urgency. Guys, are, you know, they're celebrating. They're running around. Guys are very vocal. You know, you can feel in practice when it's kind of low. People aren't really talking too much. You can tell people are thinking. But we know guys are out there having fun, flying around. You can definitely tell it's like, hey, we're having fun. We're doing things right. It's a fun practice. Has there been any low practices th through camp so far? You know, coming off of a, a day off, you know, it's not necessarily, not necessarily uh, easy to have, like, a great practice. So you really have to put emphasis on that. Just, like, coming off of a bye week, going into that game, you really have to focus, in, like, to on having a good game and quality practice af after having that time off, if that makes sense. When you review the, the film from, from Saturday's scrimmage, what's, like, the, the big things that stick out to you that tell you, oh, my gosh, like, there's a potential for this defense to be pretty scary? Oh, man, let me think, let me think. Oh, that was a good question, good question. Um, I feel like we have a good understanding of the defense. I feel like we're able to... We input a lot of things, and I feel like we run a lot of things well. So that's really good as far as the execution standpoint. I feel like you know guys can cover, we can stop the run. So I feel like it's gonna be it's gonna be really fun and exciting. Dorless has been called the alpha of this defense. From just your perspective, how does he set the tone for for you guys? Just the way he carries himself on the field, like he's a guy that really just takes pride in everything he does, whether it's a walkthrough, whether it's where I practice, he just takes pride in what he does. He's very vocal about what he's doing and what we're trying to do as a defense. So I just feel like both on and off the field, he's just a, a guy that a lot of people look up to. You mentioned this is the fourth playbook you guys are on, really since you've been here. Yeah. How, how hard is that? Just kind of year so, after year to... So my, I feel like it's, it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough trying to, in a sense, delete the terminology because a lot of a lot of defense they run the same stuff it's just different wording you know what i'm saying so in a sense you have to kind of erase it but remember it so it's like okay defense all right now we're putting this word to that defense this word to that defense so once you're able to really dissect it in that manner then you're able to move forward would you say this is not the most difficult to learn but maybe the most kind of intensive mm, yeah i would say that 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 makes sense yeah and i would definitely say that as far as like you know all the moving tools as as a whole Trying to just keep up with everything, I would say is definitely you have to be on your toes. Doing it in multiple spots, like a lot of the defensive back guys are. Yeah, yeah, definitely keep you on your toes. Do you think it's beneficial to you to have these multiple spots learn? Like, is that a common thing that you've seen in the past, or is this brand new to you too? I feel like it's good. I feel like the more positions you can play, the more valuable you are. And with more guys able to play different positions at any time, say someone goes down, you can move around and there's no drop off. So I feel like that's a great thing.